Warlord Games have a whole variety of new releases for their Black Seas naval combat system. Some of the latest are a US Navy starter fleet, followed by a 1 700th scale scenery pack and culminating the Spanish first-rate Santisma Trinidad. Opening up the US Navy starter set, we have three identical plastic frigate frames and three plastic brig frames. However, it is the resin and metal parts which add more to this starter set. Wrapped in bubble wrap, we have two super frigates, the USS President and the USS United States. These are both resin hulls with metal parts to add detailing. The hulls have the relevant ship names cast onto their sterns, but the set also comes with metal stern plates and figureheads for the Chesapeake, Congress and the Constellation. This means that you can choose to name your plastic figures to create third-rate vessels from history. A third bubble wrap package contains a large resin cast base with textured sea and three small gunboats sculpted onto it. The package also includes metal sails that can be added to create a small gunboat squadron. After all that resin and metal, it's time to take a look at the paper, card and thread elements. There are ship cards for each type of vessel, weight sheets to show the knots being travelled, US Navy flags, sail sheets, acetate based rat lines, assembly guides and rigging thread for those who like to add even more detail. The scenery pack contains some interesting land and sea based elements to add more to your games. A really nice touch is the inclusion of resin cast pieces representing a partially sunken first and third rate ship, enabling players to leave wrecks as obstacles. Speaking of obstacles, we also have five different sizes of rocks, adding the opportunity to force your enemy aground. Of course, maritime history saw the use of lighthouses to warn shipping of hazards, and a resin wad is included herein. A major facet of coastal warfare in this era was the use of land-based defences and lookout positions. To help to spot enemy vessels and potential invaders, a resin martello tower has been included, plus three metal cast weapons emplacements, two with cannon and one with mortars. Finally, we have the Spanish first-rate vessel the Santisima Trinidad. This is a model of the heavily armed but slow moving vessel which sported four decks full of 140 guns in total. The kit itself is cast in resin and metal, with a metal nameplate that may be added to the stern. The set also comes with sail and wake sheets, flag sheet, rigging thread, rat lines and the all important ship card with the stats for the game. The sculpting detail and casting quality on each of the resin and metal parts is excellent. The US Navy starter set is perhaps the best value for money, but the scenery pack is great for those looking to add more to their tabletop than just the ships. Overall, these are top quality items from this 1 700th scale game. This video has been produced by WI Prime. WI Prime is Wargames Illustrated Magazine's online members club. As a WI Prime member, you get access to all Wargames Illustrated videos before anyone else. We'll keep you posted on what's new via the Primetime News Bulletin delivered to your inbox every Friday. If you're not a WI Prime member, you're missing out on loads of benefits, including access to the Wargames Illustrated Vault, freebies, discount vouchers, PDFs of the latest magazine, and more. Find out more about WI Prime by following the link.